Hi, this is Becca Foxwell coming from first grade at Foxwell Forest with a new addition song that I just wrote and I use in my classroom to teach addition. And one of the reasons why I love to use songs is that it actually has been researched that singing activates another part of the brain. So I mean, if you you probably remember too some of the songs you learned when you were kids, and so singing is just another great way for to engage students and also for them to remember what we're learning. So today I'm coming with you with a new edition song that I just wrote, and it's just called the edition song, and this is how it goes, and I'll take you through it step by step when we're I'm done showing it to you. So the edition song goes: Numbers are made of parts. Numbers are made of parts and we can add them together or join them together. You take the first part plus the second part and it equals the whole numbers are made of parts and we can add them together or join them together. We call it addition. Yeah! And so just to take you through the steps of that song, first of all, this is the gesture that I use for addition, is I call, you know, the addition is the part, part, whole. So I say you take the first part plus the second part equals the whole, and that's what addition is all about. And so the song is, numbers are made of parts, since so we hold out the two, part, two hands, numbers are made of parts, and you repeat it, numbers are made of parts, and we can add them together, you want to hold out that plus sign, because that's the addition sign, add them together, or join them together, and I like using that word too, because join is a word that's used in addition a lot, especially in word problems, so I want them to remember that as addition, join them together, make the whole, and you take the first part, hold out the first hand, and the second part, second hand, and and it equals the whole, and you want to hold the whole together. Numbers are made of parts. We can add them together or join them together. We call it addition. And then it ends by going, yeah. And I like to do that ending because it's not only fun and fun and motivate students, but also because I want them to remember and and that helps activate their memory too. That, that addition is exciting because it always ends in a bigger number. When you take two parts together, for example, if it was three, you know, the first group was three, second group was four, second part was four, it's going to equal seven, which is a bigger number. So that's exciting. So we end by going, yeah. And also it makes, you can't see my hands all the way, my hands are all the way out. It makes kind of like a plus sign with our body. And so it's another way again for them to be kinesthetically moving around to remember what addition is. So I hope that song is helpful for you in your classroom and the gesture as well. I use both of those in my classroom and hope that that helps you as you're teaching addition to your primary students. If you have any questions, leave me some comments and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.